Hey guys, so today I'm back with our Paris vlog and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we did while we were in Paris. So it was a very short trip. We did end up staying in London and then taking the Euro train to Paris for two yes. days. Success. Only in Paris. Only in Paris. Oh wait, London. On the way to Paris. <laughs> It said that it was going to be warm in Paris. I was so cold that I was in desperate need of tights. So we went hunting for tights, and sure enough, we found a whole wall of them. Taking the Euro train was very easy. It was about an hour and a half trip there, and then an hour and a half on the way back. So one of the things that I was looking forward to the most on this trip was going and having brunch at Lottery. It was directly on one of the most popular shopping streets in Paris, Champs-Élysées, if I'm saying that correctly. And it was just, the location and the venue was just absolutely stunning. We're in an art museum. Say hi, baby. <laughs> and look how cute the tables are. <laughs> are you home, baby? I am. That's why. So anybody didn't know what that was. <laughs> oh wow, you're good. But I honestly thought it was a chocolate stick or something. The hell? It's a little chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I have to say the food was very yummy. The French toast was some of the best French toast I've had ever. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. First try in <laughs> and I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la, 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 la. a poached egg with asparagus. Damn, Gina. This is green. What is that? No idea. It, yes. Very rich. Had some macaron? Oh yes, of course. Because our time in Paris was so limited and there was so much we wanted to see, we did a private tour. So we did have a tour guide that took us around to all the landmarks in Paris and we did this for about five, four to five hours. We got to see the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, the Notre Dame Cathedral, which by the way, I always wanted to go there because of the movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So the tour guide took us to all the places that we wanted to see and he even let us get down to all the places we actually wanted to take pictures and he waited for us in the car. So it was really, really nice because we didn't have to worry about parking or worry about um, trying to find our next cab and things like that. So definitely was a very fun way of seeing Paris.
Our favorite part of the tour was visiting a place called Montmartre. I hope I'm saying that right. It's on top of a hill and you have incredible views of the city from there. They also have tons of restaurants, so many cafes. They have uh, street artists and painters and it, it was just a really cool experience. We really wish we had more time to explore this area. Day two in Paris, we had lunch reservations at this place called Les Ombres. We were told it had amazing views of the Eiffel Tower. First course, and we've got this beautiful view. They give you this so you can eat it with this. We spent the rest of the day just walking around sightseeing, taking cool pictures, and doing a little bit of shopping on the Champs-Elysees strip. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed my Paris vlog. I wanted to come on here before letting you guys go because it was such a short vlog, and I wanted to do a reveal of what I picked up in Paris. I knew I wanted for sure to go to some of the flagship stores, uh, some of my favorite designers like Chanel and Louis Vuitton. So I did pick up a souvenir to remind me of our Paris trip, and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's a really special one, and even though I don't do like reveals and things like that on my channel, I thought I could include it in this vlog. So uh, I even packaged everything back up just to give you guys a full experience. I know I'm totally cheesy. And I'm not sure if it's only this Chanel that has the white bag or not. You guys let me know if you know, let me know down in the comments, but I've never seen a white bag before and it's just so pretty. I even brought it back with me. It's all wrinkled, but that's okay. And then they tied it with this pretty little ribbon. Here is the box. It was actually wrapped a lot prettier than this, um, but I attempted to wrap it myself so I could give you guys a full effect. Can you guys guess what it is before I even open it? Let's see how good you guys are. So here we go. Open it. And it did have the little sticker right here, but I ripped it apart. Yeah, I can get you what it is. These are so adorable, you guys. Okay, so they are sandals. And I don't even know like what these are called. I don't know the style. I think these are for the spring collection, but they were just so cute. I saw them from across the room. They are pretty narrow. They run pretty small, but yeah, they're super, super comfortable. They have the quilting on the bottom, and then they do have a little tiny baby heel, like, you know, just enough so your foot isn't completely flat and they're still comfortable to walk in all day. But I haven't even worn these out. They're just so beautiful. So I was able to save a little bit of money purchasing it in Paris because you do get your taxes back at the airport. They have a little place at the Chanel Boutique that you can actually fill it out. It's called VAT, I believe, V-A-T. You fill it out with your information and then you take that piece of paper with your receipt to this place at the airport. It's like right before you walk into the airport. It's like huge, you can't miss it. Actually, I think it takes 30 to 60 days to get that money back into your account. So it's like a 12% 
um, that you will get back on your card. So that is everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do want to see more travel vlogs in the future, anytime we vacation and things like that, give the video a thumbs up so that I know. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.